right, welcome back, everybody, for some more Members First content. Members will get this as soon as I'm done recording this and editing it, while everybody else will have to wait until Monday night to get my Wednesday watch list, which will be focusing in on New Comic Book Day for August 30th, 2023. Hopefully you're enjoying this series as well as everything else on the channel. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Please like, subscribe, hit the alert button so you don't miss anything. Keep telling your friends so we can keep growing the channel as we are on our way to 3K. We've recently passed 2,800 subs. We only got a little bit more to go to hit that 3,000 sub mark. And I will be doing probably another big giveaway at that point. So if you like free stuff, keep telling your friends so we can keep growing the channel. And if you like hearing about what books are coming out this upcoming new comic book Wednesday, I got a whole list for you based off of some different categories, whether they be books to read, some incentives, some things that are selling already, second prints, homages, etc., to run down for you in uh, the next, uh, you know, probably 30 minutes or so. So if you want to see what I got for you, all you got to do is hang on for a few seconds after the intro, and I will be right back. Okay, so first up, we will start off with the buzz books. These are some books that got a little bit of buzz going into New Comic Book Wednesday for one reason or another. The first book being a Star Wars book. I know everybody's pretty excited with Ahsoka dropping on Disney+. Plus. While this is not Ahsoka-related, there are some doings going on in the Star Wars comics with the droid, uh, you know, the dark droid storyline that's running across all of the Star Wars titles, including bounty hunters number 37 now this is the cover a nothing really going on specifically with this cover it is part of the storyline but a lot of people keep seem to be focusing in on this cover in particular this uh tar Kligson. i believe this is his first time on the cover of a comic book a lot of people are looking at this one so keep an eye out for this one if you're going to go grab one for your shop if you don't like this one there is a Django fett there is also a uh, another uh 40th anniversary for Return of the Jedi, and there is a 15th anniversary for the Clone Wars, if you are so inclined. Now, that Jango Fett there in the middle also has an incentive 1 in 100 edition. So this incentive has been selling at a bit of a premium of late, so it is one to keep an eye on. I don't know why Star Wars keeps doing these super high ratio incentives, but they have. There's no one in 25s, 150s. They jump right to the one in 100s. Those Ryan Browns, people have been uh, spending a lot of extra coin on them uh, on new release Wednesdays. So this seems to be following suit with some pre-sales already going at a bit of a premium at about 110 to 140 up to $250. Now, copies listed right now. I only found the two listed at about $190 and $200. I don't know if that's going to happen. Even that $250 sale may not have been exactly what was accepted. I don't know. I didn't dig into it any deeper than what eBay is showing. But I still feel like this double ratio ask does feel a little bit like fishing to me. Like they're hoping to get that price and seeing what happens with the uh, pre-sale market. Let's go fishing. I mean, nothing wrong with that. You take a shot, see what you can get. I mean, the book isn't even out yet. See what somebody's willing to pay you before it even drops onto shelves this Wednesday. But it does feel like a little bit of fishing to me. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. You can see there's watchers right there on that $200 one as well. Now, the other book that has a little bit of a uh, buzz going about it, I think, this week is, well, I guess it's sort of a first appearance. I guess we can get into the minutia of this later. I'm going to dig into this a little bit deeper on Dollar Bin Digging, but wolverine number 36 it appears to be we're getting the first appearance of this helverine character now this isn't the first time that wolverine has been possessed by a demon but this may be the first time that he's possessed by the spirit of vengeance i guess in this universe i don't know like i said i'm gonna dig into it more come uh dollar been digging for thursday but for right now this appears to be uh a first appearance of sorts uh, a version, I guess. So you have this cover A, which is a pretty awesome cover too, by the way, because you get the you know the flames and Ghost Rider, flaming, flaming claws, all that fun stuff. Uh, there's also a B cover too that you can go and grab. Another pretty cool image there. And then we do have a George Perez uh, hidden gems cover. Now I've been pretty clear on what I think about these uh, George Perez covers, and I don't love them has been doing him wrong in my opinion by releasing all of these 
I want to, I don't even want to say unused art, but just art that really isn't up to snuff for a cover. I'm sorry. It just isn't like this Wolverine with the giant head. I get it. Wolverine's supposed to be short, but this head is really throwing me off. Like the head is just doesn't fit or it does fit. I don't know. I just don't like it. So to me, this is not great. And this would have gone on the not great section, but it kind of ties into where we are here with the bit of the buzz on the, you know, the Helverine. And this isn't Helverine. This is just a Wolverine thrown onto Wolverine. I just don't love it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, again, I love George Perez, but this is not his best work, nor do I think we need a one in 100 version of this, which we are getting. But there it is. And this one in 100 version, I found one copy that sold for just over a ratio. And then there is an ask asking double ratio. So once again, that feels a little bit like fishing. Let's go fishing. But we'll see what happens with that price. Maybe it gets maybe it gets met. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. We'll find out come, you know, new comic book Wednesday. But as I noted, this is not great to me. I don't want to say bad. I'm just saying not great. But this leads me into my not great segment of books. So there are a few books this week that I just don't care for. It's a personal thing, but I'm here to be honest. I'm not here to shine you on and try to get you to buy stuff. I don't care what you buy. I mean, it doesn't do me any different. You know, I'm not a dealer. I'm not going to make any more money if you guys decide to spend your money on some of this stuff. I'm just telling you what I think. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't think we need more symbiotes, and I don't think we need more symbiotes that just cross over with other popular characters, so we don't really need a Deadpool symbiote, but we apparently are getting something, and I'm sure this has already happened before. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember the book that it did, but I don't know. I'm just not into this. So Deadpool, Batter Blood, this has just been an entire series of shit I don't want. That's a personal thing. Just a personal thing. Uh, if you love it, God bless you. Keep buying it. Enjoy it. Whatever. But this... Well, this cover's not terrible. It's a Liefeld cover, and I'm not here to run down Liefeld totally. This ain't that bad. I just don't like the idea. Now, the next cover that he also did the B cover on this book, I am also not a fan of this one because it looks like he's got Mr. Fantastic's torso going on here. Of like, look how long that's some look how long that thing is. Like, it's just I don't know. We have big head Wolverine on the Perez. Now we got long torso Deadpool here with Wolverine claws for some reason or another. I don't know what's going on in this book, and I don't care. That's just a personal thing for some me. This is in the not great section. Along with this next cover, Dan Parent. I like Dan Parent. He's been doing a lot of great Archie homages to fun stuff. But eventually, you find two things that just don't quite go together. And I'm sorry, but Conan the Barbarian doing Archie, it, it just don't work for me. This just looks not great. This is not great. Let me look at the, the quality of the cover, the the coloring, everything. Yeah, it's it's an homage to many, uh, probably a different art. There's probably many Archie covers this goes to, but the one I can see is that Archie Annual 4 with the three of them on a milkshake, whatever. I just don't love this. That's all. It's just not, not good. I'm not buying it, but do what you want with your wallet. Uh, just like you can do what you want with this wallet, you know, with your wallet here. If you want a facsimile of Giant Size X-Men number one, great. I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with them reprinting this book and reprinting it as a facsimile. My problem with this particular version of the book is why in the hell does this thing need to be eight dollars? Doesn't need to be eight dollars. That just seems like a cash grab. You're you're milking your audience. For, I get it. It's sixty eight pages, but even so, eight dollars. Come on now. There's no reason this couldn't have been a six dollar book. There's no reason. There's no reason for eight bucks. But Whatever, whatever. So if you want it, you need it, go get it. I got my OG original, so I'll stick with that. I'm not going to shell out another eight bucks just for a reading copy because eight dollars is ridiculous. At jump, I'm just saying. Interesting for this week was something I could only qualify as an oddity. So I brought over the oddities subcategory from Hidden Gems over to Wednesday watch list because it's the only thing I, that makes sense to me. And the oddity I'm here to talk about is this. I think it's like 20 bucks. What's the furthest place from here? Has an included, is it a little record? Like there's a little record with the comic for issue six. How often do you see that? You don't often see, you know, little LPs getting included with comic books. So to me, this is a fun little oddity. If you want to collect such a thing, you know, go for it. I mean, it's weird. Why not? 
Uh, but I think it is like 20 bucks. So uh, keep that in mind, too, if you go out uh, shopping for this thing. But it's still kind of cool, right? I don't know. Tell me what you think. If they get dumb, it's fine. You don't have to buy it. I don't have to buy it either. But I'll tell you what I am buying. My reading list. So there's a bunch of stuff here that I do want to read. So far as my reading list goes, there I have a number of books on it this time. And we got a number of covers because I like to cover that stuff for you guys so you can see what your options are. But first up, probably going to move to the top of my pile. I've really been enjoying this Incredible Hulk run. I don't know. I just have. First two issues, I'm, I'm into it. So issue three, I can't wait to see where this story is going. We have this cover A here. There's also a Frank Miller and a uh, Stormbreakers cover, which I think the Stormbreakers might be sold out at Midtown. And I know what you're thinking. Why isn't that Frank Miller in your not great segment? Because you've been running down Frank Miller covers for the last few months. And to be fair, I have. But you know what? This one's not terrible. I'm not saying this is great. But compared to the other ones, would look like they're taking flying dumps. This Hulk ain't terrible. Sure, just looks like a green-colored version of Marv from Sin City, but still, it's all right to me. So I'm probably not going to get it, but it's not terrible. That said, they are making a uh, 1 in 50 virgin version of this. Invest as you will. I am probably not going to be throwing cash at this personally, but if you like it, go for it. This is the only ratio incentive book for this book, so keep that in mind as well. This one in 50 pre-sales, right around ratio at about 51 bucks, and one earlier about $75. Asking prices right now in that 65, 70, 70, actually $80 range. So 65 to 80 bucks. So a little bit more of the ratio. Again, this is a one in 50. So the asking price is a little bit more than that one in 50 mark. But that said, we'll see where it goes come Wednesday. Another book that I'm very curious to read. I was not a fan of the death of Kamala Khan and Spider-Man. I felt it was just stupid, but it served its purpose, and now she's being returned as a new mutant. So, Ms. Marvel, number one, the new mutant. We're getting a crap load of covers here with this book. Cover A, all well and good, fine. But if you like homages, we got a few more coming your way, as we've got a Ms. Marvel one homage. Not bad, but now you can see she's X mutantified or whatever you want to call it, mixing and matching, putting these two things together, smashing them together. Eh, not terrible, but do you want this one or do you want this one? She's breaking through the glass, flashing that peace sign. Uh, I think this is the first appearance of that uh, that side dude. Uh, was it Red Dagger? Was it Red Dagger in this one, or was it the other, the ice guy? It doesn't matter. Uh, Ms. Marvel spec really kind of died on the vine uh, of late, even though the show was good. I enjoyed the show. Uh, I guess it's people to stop throwing money at it. But uh, if you want this cover, uh, there it is. This is probably my least favorite of the um, homages because I don't have a real strong connection to that issue 13. But I do enjoy the uh, X-Men here with the uh, 101. Uh, she's coming out it's like Dark Phoenix thing, style. I dig it. So I'm into this one. I like it. Uh, as well as the Dazzler. I mean, hey, everybody's loving Dazzler these days, so why not give us a Ms. Marvel Dazzler homage? So uh, 130 is another one that they uh, decided to do for us. So, you know, if you're interested, there's four, four homage covers that they're giving you on this new uh, Ms. Marvel book. And that's not it. That's not it. We're also getting an art germ. We're also getting a JTC action figure, and we're getting... Uh, I don't even know what this L is, the third one is. It's just another cover that they're throwing in the mix, including a 1 in 100 virgin version of that art germ, which is right here and already selling for a bit more than the ratio. So we'll see where this one goes. Yes, the last copy did sell for only uh, 75 bucks thereabouts. Well, well yeah, plus shipping. Uh, but 160 best offer on 190 is uh, where those early, early pre-sales went. Uh, but asking prices right now. So despite that $73 sale, the current asking prices are $150, $230, and $260 for this one in 100. So once again, feels a little bit like fishing. Let's go fishing. We'll see where the price goes come Wednesday. I don't know. It's just uh this is just too much. So I I'm probably not shelling out uh, you know. Anywhere near ratio for this. So this is one of those books that's just out of my range. So it's just not, not, 
Not for me. Yeah, yeah, it's just not for me. But hey, if you want it, go ahead, go buy it. It's up to you. What I do like, though, of this book, uh, of this title, is I do like the Art Adams. I like the Art Adams 1 in 50. I'm still probably not shelling out the bucks it'll cost to get it, but I do kind of like it. It's different art. It's new art. I like it when they use new art on incentives. I hate the virgin versions of regular cover price variants made into incentives. I hate that. I don't like them recolored black and white versions, virgin versions. No, give me new art. I'm more interested. So the 1 in 50 has more of my interest, but... 50, 60 bucks, asking prices, 60 to 100. Eh, we'll see. Considering there's a higher ratio that kind of cuts this one off a little bit at the legs. It's also not like the most gorgeous cover in the world. It's pretty solid, but it is what it is. I like it, but again, I'm still not ready to go shell out ratio for this because that's a lot. It's a lot of money to go throw out at a new release book. Let's all be honest, right? Throwing 50 bucks down on a book that just came out this Wednesday just because you like the cover or because the cover is a ratio incentive, that's a lot of money. Can't keep doing that every week. Well, at least I can't. Maybe you roll, you know, with a bigger wallet than I do. Fine, but it just doesn't seem like a smart thing to do. That said, let's see what else I got in my reading pile. A book that I'm well behind on my reading, but art and everything is still great. I'm going to catch up. That's Monstrous. So we're getting another issue of Monstrous, number 47. It's going into my pile. I'll catch up sooner or later. Uh, I think this is wrapping up the first arc, but World Tree also has issue five coming out this week. And I'm interested. I'm interested in seeing where this is going. This is going to wrap up. Uh, this is the cover A. There is a B cover as well. I mean, yes, we're getting a little bit of nudity on these covers a bit here. As you can see, it's 125, and you get a butt shot on the one in 50. It's all well and good if you're into that. I like it. I mean, there's, I've got nothing against it. But uh, yeah, both of these are selling right around that ratio mark, maybe a touch over, but. Uh, not very much over, so yeah, I'm not giving you the pricing information on them. But there is another one in 100, as there have been, and another Tinian homage this time to the closet number one on this World Tree book. So, uh, th so there you go. Uh, let's see here, what do we got next? Because I don't think I updated the pricing info properly on uh, the World Tree book, so let's see what we can do about that. Uh, let's get rid of it, I guess. Sorry, filling in, just trying to avoid more and more editing and uh, trying to streamline this process. That's why I threw those little video snippets in between uh, what we were talking about, like you know, you know, the you know, the not for me, not for me, yeah. So, again, one 100, one 100, it's not going to be for me, but if you want to buy it, go for it. Uh, the other book I want to check out, granted, it's got a ten dollar cover price. This new imprint distillery i guess that's how you pronounce it there's no vowels in it so it kind of makes it tough to pronounce but i think it's distillery but the devil's cut number one many many covers on this again ten dollar buy-in it looks like it's oversized almost like the dc black labels i haven't seen this yet in person so i don't know exactly what size it is but that's what it looks like to me and at a ten dollar price point eh, that's a little bit hefty but i still want to check this out so the devil's cut number one at a distillery this is the cover a there are multiple covers here. This is another regular cover. Uh, this is a Franca Villa, uh, I believe. Pretty cool. You get the eyeball and the tentacles. Uh, pretty sweet. This is, I think, like a cover G or some some such thing. Uh, but yeah, again, another cover. There's a one in ten. Not too bad here. I think this is Becky Cloonan, maybe. Uh, but I like this one. I do like this one. I uh, like the skull in the uh, you know in the D shadow there, whatever you want to call it, that negative space. I kind of like it. There, we also got a one in 25. I think this is Tula Lote, I think maybe, but a one in 25. Uh, then we got a one in 50, it's already pretty sweet here. And then we also got a one in 75. I think this is a Merca and Dolfo, if I'm not mistaken. And then we also have a one in 100 that has some more uh craziness on this wraparound cover. But out of all of those, I think the one to keep your eye on is the uh secret variant that I think is a one per store. That is already got some crazy high asking prices for. So if you're in your shop this week and you're looking and they got their copy up, maybe you can get the Devil's Cut, the one per store secret variant cover here uh, for a decent price. Because right now I didn't see any. This again just got announced uh, just the, you know, today or yesterday. I don't know. Recently. But pre-sales, I couldn't find any pre-sales for this cover. But asking prices already, the first two I've saw out there, are 
at $500. Yeah, that definitely seems like fishing. Let's go fishing. But, hey, we'll see where this ends up. Who knows? Who knows? Some of these one per stores, you've seen it. These ash cans and whatnot, they go crazy. People go crazy for some of these uh, secret variants and one per stores. They just got to have them. So keep an eye out for it. If you can get one at a decent price, it might be worth your time to do so. And one more title still in my reading pile. Yes, this is a hefty reading pile this week. I told you. Is I want to check out plot holes. Kind of curious. Sean Murphy, uh, I like what he's done with the White Knight stuff. I haven't been able to keep up with it. I mean, Corbin was really my guide to keep me up on a lot of that White Knight stuff. But uh, I'm falling behind. That said, I still do like Sean Murphy's work. And I'm interested in this plot hole series, at least to check it out uh, from this massive imprint. So we do have this cover A. Uh, then there's multiple, multiple other covers here. We got up Dan Panosian and a, uh, I forget who did the, uh, other one here. I'm, you know, I'm going off the cuff here. Can't remember everybody's names, but I like all these. Uh, I also like this, like back to the future style one. And then there's a Scott Young here. And we also got an homage to, uh, Thor here as another regular cover price. It's not the greatest one, but it's a Simonson, you know, and it is a throwback here to Beta Ray Bill. So it does have that going for it. I don't know. It doesn't hit as hard as the original. Still pretty cool. And then there is this Sega Genesis plot holes uh, cover here. And now I know what you're thinking. You're like, all right, they just did, you know, some generic rando, you know, Sega Genesis cover box, right? Uh -uh -uh. No, I figured out what cover box this is from. I looked at it. It looked familiar. This is actually a pretty one good one for one homage to the cover box for Comic Zone. Look, even the trade dress matches up. Pose matches up. Hand drawing matches up. Everything's there. That's what this is an homage to. So the Sega Genesis Comic Zone book on this comic. Pretty fun, right? So I might grab this one. I like the video game cover box ones when they're done well. So I might get this one. So uh, yeah, no, but that's a personal thing. It's cover price. That's why. It's not a big investment for me. Just buying it for five bucks or whatever. That said, if you do want to buy these incentives, there are a few. There is a 1 in 10. There is a 1 in 25, which is the black and white of one you've seen, and the 1 in 50, which is the black and white version of the 1 in 10. Up to you if you want them. They're not selling for above pre, uh, above ratio. They're right around ratio. They're about maybe a hair above, but really nothing to uh, speak to yet. But we'll keep an eye on it. And there is a 1 in 100 foil if you're into this. And you can see here, even with that, it's going to be shiny, multicolored foil. Yay. I'm just tired of foil. Yeah, you know, I'm just tired of it. It's been overdone, overused. That said, it's not the last we're going to see of it on our list today. So let's keep it rolling. We're already 20 minutes in and get to our later printings. Now, these are reprints. No other way about it. Reprints. Hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. Yeah, we've seen it before because these are just reprints. Call them whatever you want. Second print, later printing. They're just reprints. All right. That said, specifically, this facsimile reprint, Wonder Woman, number one. You can still find plenty of these Wonder Woman number ones out there. I don't know why we need a facsimile of it, but fine. It's there. And you know what? It's not terrible because it's only asking four bucks. Unlike the giant size X-Men that was asking eight bucks, four bucks, not terrible. So if you want it, go get it. I know what you're asking now. Wait, we just looked at this book. Why are we looking at it again? Well, because DC couldn't leave well enough alone. And why is this one six bucks? Well, it's six bucks because they're going to give us a foil cover because that's what we needed. We needed a foil cover version of Wonder Woman number one. Not for me. No, not for me. I don't know. I, why they keep doing this, I don't get it. Again? Seriously? Yeah, we keep doing it. People keep buying them. I guess they're going to keep doing it. But it's there if you want it. If you like it, go for it. Me, I'm going to save my six bucks. Uh, pretty cool. Buffy, last Vampire Slayer number one. Got a second print. Not bad. Uh, I do like this uh, Battle Chasers. This is uh, number 11, the last issue. Uh, I do like this. I, I like the regular cover of this. It's just beautiful with the, you know, I can't remember the name of the tree. Like the, the, Jap the tree, the Japanese tree, the pink flowers. I love it. I like it. So the second print, pretty cool. I ordered one because I like it. That said, I don't think it's we really needed a second print because I feel like with the six covers we already got for the regular issue, there's plenty of them out there. Why do we need a second print? I don't know. 
but they milked me for another four bucks. So I'm in. What I'm not in on is needing blade number one again. Yeah, it was a decent read. I do have it. I do have the one in 25, which I like of this cover of this book, but a recolored version of issue one now in a second print. I don't need this. I'm pretty sure there's still blade ones out there, right? Why do we need a second print? Let alone, why do we need a 1 in 25 second print that's just reusing again cover art we've already got in the regular variant? You just take the trade dress off, make it a virgin, and you're trying to get people to spend ridiculous amounts of money to buy these because stores are ordering them, because people are pre buying them before the FOC even hits. So, yeah, they'll order 25 because they already got somebody who decided to pay them 65 bucks, 60 bucks just for this. Sure, why not? They've already got their money back. Then they got all those other crappy second prints that can bleed out over time and still make some more money. I don't know. $87 is one out there asking for it. I don't get it. I don't know why everybody's so enamored with these second print one in 25s. I, I think I've been pretty clear. I hate the idea behind these. It seems pointless, useless. It's just a cash grab. They're just really just grabbing for cash. There is no uh, whatever. I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna keep harping on it. it. It's just it's not for me. So I'm just gonna take a breath and take it easy. Take her easy, dude. Not get too excited. So I'm gonna relax. That said, what else do we have? Well, we got another one of these. Another one of these we probably don't need. Moon Knight. City of the Dead, number one. Yes, a second print where they're just recoloring the original. They're not even bothering to give us reused interior art anymore. They're just recoloring the regular covers now. That's what they're doing. They're recoloring the regulars on the first, on the second print, and then they're giving you another incentive for one in 25 where they're just taking the trade dress off of a previous variant. We've seen this playbook, right? We've seen this playbook work over and over, week after week. Why? Are people still shelling out $62 in pre-sales for this thing? ASCII price is close to $90. I don't know. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it because, you know, it's there. Uh, it's not. They're not getting my money, so I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried at all. Yeah, not worried about it. So moving on. Homage covers. Yes, these are going to be covers that, yeah, yeah. You've seen I've them seen before. you before, you know. That's right. That's what an homage cover is. is they're going to reuse art and do it in something a new and hopefully fun way. Like Local Man. Local Man's been giving us plenty of homages. I normally don't put these on here, but I put this one on because Deathmate. Deathmate was a big deal for me. Image, Valiant, Crossover, Jim Lee, Cover, Here, Foil, Gold Version. A lot of things. Craziness. Fun. Sure. Brings back memories. Brings back memories of those crazy times in the 90s. So, Local Man doing death mate the prologue issue here and they even made it gold see they even put it in there as gold so pretty fun to me uh and while i'm not getting the milkshake drinking conan cover it was a pretty cool throwback to the, the poster for conan the barbarian here you know pretty close i mean he's got the sword you got an axe instead of a sword but except you get it so pretty good uh you know pretty good homage there that's all that's all. I gave you other homages in other sections. Uh, so that was a very short homage section this week. But we are getting one more, probably one more, at least until uh, Halloween time. One more creepy cover section because Night Terrors is still wrapping up. And even apart from Night Terrors, there are a few others that fit this category. So we're getting some creepy covers, starting off with Night Terrors, Night's End, number one, the finale to the series. Now, this isn't that creepy. They do have the uh, neon recolored version, so I'm probably going to get this because I got the other ones, the black light cover or whatever. You know, it's kind of cool. Uh, so I got to get it. I got the rest of them, so I got to get this one. I will not, however, be getting the uh, black and white one in 250 incentive for this. I don't think anybody is. There aren't any or many out there. And I can't see this selling for above. I can't even see this selling at ratio, so... I don't know why they even decided to make this, but it exists. So just noting it, that it exists. This is a pretty cool cover, though, that they have here. I think it is kind of creepy with the, you know, kind of like bird claw hands. I don't know. Pretty awesome. There is an incentive black and white version of this one for the 1 in 100. 
Yeah, I think it's selling right around that ratio mark, maybe a touch more. Yeah, it's okay. I prefer the color, full color version anyway, for just regular cover price, but that's just me. Uh, but the other one that did kind of jump out at me is the one in 50. Because once again, you give me new cover art and it's good cover art. I I start looking and start thinking about it. Do I want to start buying a one in 50? Because this dead man cover where he's peeling away the face and it's got Batman underneath, it's pretty awesome. It's a pretty awesome cover here on this one in 50. Uh, it's still selling at ratio and below, et cetera. So no need to go into that pricing. But I will keep an eye on this. If I can get this for like half ratio, I'm in. I'm in for 25 bucks on this. So I, I will say that, uh, you know, I will pay a little bit for it. I'd go over 12% for that. Hey, look, I ordered coffee. Maybe not over 12% ratio, but I will go a little bit, you know, normal my cheap pricing. That's what I'm saying. That said, other creepy covers we got. We got Draculina, uh, number five. Pretty cool cover. She's scratching, you know, scratching herself there with the blood and gore. Got a bat there creepy uh another cover is pretty awesome kind of seductive there with her lying on the skulls uh so draculina blood simple number five two pretty cool covers but it's dynamite so i look but i don't buy because there's just too many it's too many that said regular covers got a few of these as well starting off with in the star wars universe side of things kind of like this kylo ren Call me crazy, but I like that little old school pop out, the Wrath of Kylo Ren there at the bottom. That's what's really selling me on this cover. I don't know why, but I like it. So out of the hyperspace stories, number eight. I don't know if there's an A and a B, but if there is, this is the one I'm going to buy. Uh, the Carrie Nord cover, because I like it. I'm probably not going to grab this book, but I do like dragons. Pretty cool cover on Fantasy Comics number four. If you like dragons, pretty awesome dragon cover. Getting back to Blade, Blade story is continuing. I think we're at issue like three, but there is a Bill Sienkiewicz cover here that is pretty awesome. So it, when I grab this title, I am probably going to grab this. I thought about putting this in the reading pile, but the story hasn't been as good as the Hulk. The Hulk story has been better to me, but I am probably going to try to check this out to read it because I have been enjoying it so far. Uh, that said, Bjorn Barons, if I'm saying the name right, been killing it lately. Doomsday special, another awesome cover. Doomsday, I've said it before, I'm a sucker for uh, characters on a throne, sitting there chilling in the seat. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and there's also another cover here for this special, uh, Action Comics special. So we got this cover as well. Uh, it's the Puppeteer Lee, I think, uh, cover. Pretty awesome as well. I mean, Doomsday looks ridiculously oversized, like a kaiju almost. But uh, I don't know, still pretty cool. Still probably go with the uh, the throne, but it's worth thinking about this one as well. Batman has another little uh, storyline kicking off with some sort of war with Catwoman. Uh, so the Gotham War starting here. There is another cover, but this is the Joe Casada cover. Thought it was really cool, so I put this one front and center. Uh, there is also another you know, pretty solid uh, regular price variant, as well as a 1 in 25. Pretty cool Catwoman. And if you're interested, for a couple bucks more, I think $7.99 foil, John Boy Myers. There you go. I like the cover, the John Boy one. Don't like the foil, but the only way to get it is to pay that premium. So it kind of sucks, but I might have to do it. I haven't done it yet, but I might have to do it because I do like John Boy and I do like, uh, you know, that Batman cover. I just didn't want foil. Granted, they'll probably do a second print on this book and it'll be a non-foil version of this cover as the regular version of the second print. And then they'll do something else for the one in 25, like a virgin version of Joe Casada or a black and white version of it. Mark my words, that'll probably be the second print. That said, Catwoman. Catwoman Uncovered also has a new issue one. Again, I didn't put up the recover A because it was, eh, it's okay. Frank Cho, pretty cool. I like Frank Cho and I like, like the ballpoint kind of style. Uh, I also like these other covers here that we're getting. Another, you know, regular cover prize variants as well as there's a 1 in 25. I think that's a Bab Star. Uh, not bad. And as I said, Art Germ. The only way to get the art germ is a foil for a couple of bucks more. And I like art germs, so I had to shell out the extra bucks to get it. So, unfortunately, because I like art germ, I paid. I'd go over 12% for that. Hey, look, I ordered coffee. I did. I did, because I needed the art germ. That said, there's a 1 in 50. Uh, there's a 1 in 50 to call. I like it, but don't love it. It's got like an old 
Art Nouveau kind of like 80s style photo kind of vibe to it, which is, you know, it's cool and all, but one in 50, it's a bit, bit steep. I think I'd rather have the dead man uh, than the cat woman, but this one has also been doing all right already. Uh, yes, copy sold for as cheap as $37, but other copies have sold for $65 and $150 already with pre-sales. And then you look at the asking prices. Well, just as crazy, considering you can pre-order one now for only $37.64 or up to $65 or up to $165. So who knows where this is going to go? Who knows where the final price will land? But that's why it's worth looking into for this one in 50 for uh, Jeff to call. By now, you've probably seen, I already did these covers uh, on uh, shorts here on the weekends, but these Nort Illustrated Swimsuit Edition covers, I'm not covering all of them. Yes, there's a lot of swimsuit covers on this special from DC, but here's a Campbell with Batman and Catwoman. It's a Campbell, so I'm interested. There's also a Hughes. Yes, I ordered one because it's a Hughes, but I think the, the one to look for, oh, sorry, this one's marked wrong. This is actually only one in 25. This is not a one in 50. It's only one in 25. Uh, the Villa Lobos, awesome cover, awesome Wonder Woman, uh, but it is a 1 in 25. But the prices are priced more like a 1 in 50 when you see some of the sales. Already selling for 60, 62, best offer on 80 bucks. Asking prices, 50, 55, $75. So can't find this one, haven't been able to find this one for cheap since it was announced because the cover art is just that good. So I did not pre order this one because I couldn't find it at a price near ratio. So uh, I missed it. Which is fine. Maybe I'll buy it on the buy it on the dip later on. We'll see. That said, sneaking in again, another hidden gem sort of category. Sneaking in here on the Wednesday watch list. I do have some interlocking covers, so we're kind of touch a little bit of the interlocking cover lover segment here with a one in twenty five on the Turtle Street Fighter number three. If you haven't noticed, the one in twenty fives on this Turtle Street Fighter series have been part of a connecting cover set. This is just the third issue. If you've forgotten, let me go back to the others. So you got issue three, and then you got to slip in issue two and issue one right there. We're making one big, what is it, uh, a mural, I guess? Uh, there's two more, I think, coming uh, for this series. I think two, maybe three, but I think it's just two. Could be mistaken. Could be three. But they're going to continue this. Continue this connecting cover set on the one in 25s. Also continuing... The Delato 1 in 10s on Death of Venomverse also have 1 in 50 versions, which are virgin versions of the same cover. Now, these are also forming another long, huge connecting cover mural. But this one's a little wonky. We got an issue 1 already. Issue 2 connected to it. But for some reason, issue 3 is all the way over there. And then we're going to get issue four, sneaking in here, filling in that gap in issue five, finishing up later. Why? Why didn't they do these in order? Leads me to ask, the fuck? WTF, Gary. WTF. What the fuck does WTF mean? What the fuck? Oh. But whatever the reason, they did it. What's done is done. If you're in, into buying those, go for it. I decided not to at the jump. I thought about doing the one in tens because they're more affordable. But then I said, you know what? Nah. Kind of glad I didn't because that's kind of annoying. They don't go in order. That said, let's wrap us up here with our regular incentive section. Not a lot in this segment because I did cover some of the other incentives in the earlier segments. But here are a few that stood out to me. One in ten Godzilla. Godzilla Rivals. One shot. Space Godzilla. Yeah, if you're into Godzilla, these kind of things will maintain. I th these, for by and large, these Godzilla books get hard to find down the line. And these one in tens, these incentives, there are collectors for them. So I keep an eye on them. And if you can get them for under ratio at a one in 10, I'd say go for it and uh, stash it in the box. And uh, you probably won't regret it later. Maybe you will. Maybe I'm wrong. But from what I've seen, uh, there are uh, there are loyal Godzilla collectors out there. Uh, that said, if you're interested in uh, Shannon Mayer doing this Sirens Gate series, for whatever reason, it reminds me of like an old like PC game, like one of those point and click games, like those, I don't know, almost like Mist. I don't know, like a, I don't know. That's what these these comics kind of remind me of for one reason or another. But 
we do have uh, a one in 10 virgin version of this. I think it's issue four. I'm not even positive what number they're on now, but there is a one in 10. Pretty cool. I mean, you get seductive. I mean, you get the cleavage shot there with the wine glass. So if you're into it, uh, there's a one in 10. You could probably go and grab cover price version of this Alice Never After number two. It's really, really cool. I think this is a Miguel Mercado cover, if I'm not mistaken. But the, you know, the rabbit inside of the door, inside the eye, it's creepy. I could have put this in the creepy section, but I just left it here. In regular incentives, there is a 1 in 10 virgin version of this cover. And I did order one because I liked it. And eh, it seems to be doing okay. It's not really going over much over ratio. But, you know, $12 is $12. And that's the ask. It's kind of in that range, too. But then you got to pay shipping. Like, it's 20 bucks shipping out of the UK. But if you can get it. I think it's a pretty cool cover for what it is, you know, for being one in 10. But considering there is a higher ratio that also has some interest, it may negate any uh, future upside on the one in 10, really, as far as pricing goes. But there is a Hughes cover. There's a Hughes. Again, big fan of Hughes. You got this regular, I think it's the FOC cover for issue two. I'm not positive on that, but it is one of the regular cover price variants. We get it with the trade dress. But if you want it in a virgin version, you get that on the one in 25. And that one is the one that I think people will gravitate towards throwing that extra cash at it because they already kind of have been where we got a pre-sale in a $55 range. And I saw one out there listed right now already asking 75 bucks, three times a ratio. We'll see what happens comes Wednesday, but that's already out there and something to keep an eye on. Another one in 25 to keep an eye on is for whatever reason, IDW said, screw you and the one in 10s that you love. We're going to start making one in 25s and annoy you. I feel like they did this personally to me because I do love the IDW 1 and 10s. I've made no secret about that. But here we go. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Endless Summer, one shot, 1 in 25. I think there's a 1 in 10, but it's like a black and white uh, color, like color in one. I don't know. I don't like it. But 1 in 25, there was a pre-sale. So keeping an eye on this, it's part of a lot that had the 1 in 10 and the regular covers. But still for 65 bucks, that was a... Pretty interesting uh, premium already being paid. And asking prices on this 1 in 25 are double right now. There's two listings out there at about 50 bucks a piece. So it's worth watching. Just like the Sonic 1 in 25. Again, I've told you, I put most of the Sonic 1 in 10s on this list, but now they're throwing 1 in 25s at us. I like this Popsicle thing. My son likes the Popsicle. He always gets the Sonic Popsicle when we get from like an ice cream truck or whatever. But Endless Summer. Popsicle cover here is kind of cool, but it's a 1 in 25, so it's probably not going to be as easy for me to get without paying a premium because people are already paying 60 bucks for this 1 in 25 on pre-sales, and the asking price is still in that $63 range. So maybe it'll get cheaper once more copies hit the market, but we'll see. That is mostly what I got for you this week, but I got two more quick ones just to throw out there. I have no intention of buying either of these why they're still making such high ratio incentive on these books, but Turtle, Street Fighter, we did the 1 in 25 connectings. There's also a 1 in 100 here with Guile and Raphael going at it, and if that's not enough for you, take the trade dress away and make it a 1 in 250, and maybe you want that. I tried to find sales on this, could find no pre-sales or pre-fail listings for this 1 in 250, and before you go getting excited, it's like, oh, it's going to be super rare, it's going to be super rare. That doesn't always mean it's going to sell, because... One could argue the 1 and 250s for issue 1 were also probably rare-ish. Those things are selling for 40 bucks, 60 bucks for a 1 and 250. Uh, yeah, I was looking at that. Stumbled across those while looking up numbers on these. So the value is not there right now. Who knows down the line where things will go, but before you go shelling out the big bucks for these high-ratio incentives, I just be wary and be careful with your money. So take a breath. Take a moment. Just take it easy, man. You know, don't have to buy everything. You know, just take be... a breath and and calm down. Over. Yeah, best advice I can give you. And with that, that's all we got for this week. So, hopefully, you enjoy that, and hopefully, you still find this series helpful. Hope you like the little uh, little clips I decided to mix in there uh, while doing this, trying to save on the editing afterwards. But I don't know. I like movie clips, so I thought it was kind of fun. But once again, thank you for all the support. I appreciate it. Uh, got plenty more content coming your way. Got uh, Chasing Ghosts coming up tomorrow or, or Tuesday if the members are seeing this early. 
that's going to probably focus in on some spawn books. And yeah, we'll have another tax show for you live on Wednesday. So come join the chat. Dollar been digging Thursday. And you guys know the schedule by now. So new content every day here on Renovision. Thank you. And I'll see you all later. Okay. Bye. Thank you.